also he had a structured offense. There are about six plays that he had <coughs> that had so you go to the forward here, and you go, you go around the center there, you go around him, and then the forward did something, and so there are six or eight things that you could do with off of one play. And, and, and we, we did that. Uh, the fast break, if you're driving from that pl those plays or the fast break, Adolf worked on us, beat on us, to get up our hat, put the ball uh, against the backboard, Softly, you couldn't dunk then. There was no dunking back then, so you put it up there, and that's uh, that's what we tried to do. Okay. Well, anyway, see him. And uh, was famous in high school down in Florida because he'd go in and, and you know get in there and be fancy. He'd move over here, she'd move over there, and she he could do that really well. And, and we were playing and had a scrimmage going one day, and he drove for the basket. And somebody was there, so he went you know around over here, went some way, and Adolph yelled and said, "See him." said, you're nothing but a Shetland pony and a stud horse show. <laughs> Coming off of one of those plays. And again, I said, Adolph was here, Harry was here, the basket was right there. I came off the play, went up high. Just, somebody clipped me bad. I mean, they really hit me. I came thump, stumbling down, hit the back of the standard there for the, you know, for the go. Last thing I heard, Adolph jumped off the bench and he says, Get up, Evans. There goes your man. <laughs> and we were playing at home about fourth or fifth game against St. John's. I don't know whether you remember this. St. John's was number one in the country. I think we were number two right at that time. St. John's had Zeke Zawalik and Sally Walker, who were all Americans. Uh, Sally Walker was the first African-American black player to play on our floor. I mean, it was very rare back then. Now you, you, know, you look at 90% of the players, right? that's, that's fine. You know. But anyway, so I, and, and uh, oh, I got to finish the story. Here comes Tyler. Anyway, um, two or three, four or five seconds left in the game. I was in the game. The score was 81 to 39, we were hit. You know, a huge game, you know, at home and excitement, the place full, people go, we were hit 81 to 39. And the ball came out to Zawalik, I think, and I tried to block him, hit him foul. And he made one, missed one, and the game, the game was over. We, we beat the number one team in the country, 81 to 40. And we were back in a locker room, and everybody's got everybody in the back and celebrating about how wonderful that was. And I was, you know, a kid. Uh, over there, got my locker room also, and the bang, the door opened, and I looked over, and Adolf, I mean, his white face was red, and his neck was sticking out, and he was furious, and he walked over to me, grabbed me the, the, the shirt, we had a back door written near where I was, and took me over there, and, and he, was, he was furious, and he put 40 minus 39. <laughs> and he said, damn it, Evans, what's the difference? And he put one, and he put six zeros. He said, I didn't want him to get out of the third. <laughs> <laughs> that is tough. That is tough. The experience of playing in Kentucky was one of the best things that happened in my life. Uh, and basketball, there's no question in my mind, I wouldn't have had the things that I accomplished after that and I didn't have the credentials of being a Kentucky player. But I wasn't a big I wasn't a big all star play some some got some guard, shot shot pretty well, some play, but not a superstar like Frank and Lou and people and quit up. But uh, when I was in the service they in navigation training they took me out to go to try out for the Air Force team. And I'm sure again, I'm sure Kentucky was a reason. Played on that team and got on the All Air Force team, and then they were. Then we practiced. We played as a team to get ready to play in the Armed Forces team because the Olympics were going to have two teams at AU, college All Stars and the Armed Forces All Stars. So we made that team. We got to the. We won that Armed Forces tournament. We got to the. Uh, got to the Olympic trials. Four teams. Round robin. Whoever won it, that was the head coach and. and uh, Five of his players made the team, and so there, it, that that was still at 66, and we had seven others, and, and I was fortunate enough to be selected.